strikes. They're at 145 pounds, made things thrilling for the people here in Veterans Auditorium, where we're about to go to 152. And here we're going to change levels again. We're going to 1A from now through 189. And start with Bruce Keenan of Jackson Junction, Turkey Valley, against undefeated Brian Schmitz, 37 and zip from Lisbon. And the double-A match will be Decora's Ryan Kittleson against Glenwood's Jeff Jens, champion Glenwood team. These are both undefeated wrestlers at double-A. And at triple-A, West Des Moines Valley's Kurt Benetham, undefeated against Des Moines Roosevelt's Robert Edmund. All right, let's get on that number one-A match here. Bruce Keenan against Brian Schmitz of Lisbon. And Schmitz gets the first takedown to take a two-to-nothing lead. Schmitz has been a real solid performer, the only undefeated wrestler on the Lisbon team. His name sounds familiar, but the, the town doesn't. He placed for Waco of Oles last year, now wrestling for Lisbon, undefeated. Very solid performer. 37-0, and zero, and his team has the state championship locked up. Now in 1A. And he has a cradle locked up, personally. Underneath. But he's not going to be able to do anything with it, and uh, official John Monroe of Indianola calls him away from it. Okay, Green. Away, son. Also, this is icing on the cake for Lisbon because they're one point ahead, but Clarksville does not have another wrestler, so they have won the state championship, and now they'd like to win it with two state champions. But Keenan is going to have something to say about that. Keenan with a record of 27-3-1 this year for J Jackson Junction, Turkey Valley. That's Schmitz in the black. Keenan in the red uniform. Schmitz leads two to nothing. Schmitz is still considered in control. There was no escape given in that situation. Coach Smith says this is Schmitz's favorite position on top. He's a legger, he arms, he uh, uh, arm bars, he likes to tilt. He really likes to be on top. You see him uh, control with the spiral ride right, right here. Now he puts the leg in. This is a 152 pound class, cross face. playing tough on the head up there, isn't he? Yeah, it keeps the pressure. Smith has kept the pressure on Keenan real high and real hard. So that's the end of the first period. He drives in. He has his arm behind the knee here, controlling the head, looking for a cradle as he's coming down. But what he really does is just take his control of the head and push Keenan out of position to get the two points. Keenan's on top. Schmitz on the bottom as we start the second period. Schmitz. Doesn't want to stay in there. He rolls, but Keenan follows very nicely and stays behind. Now a simple stand-up, but they're out of bounds. So Schmitz is still not away. Bruce Keenan, Jackson Junction of Turkey Valley in Northeast Iowa. Slower stand-up this time by Schmitz. He's going to work on the hands first. That's one thing, you're never going to get away if you don't clear the hands. And more and more young wrestlers are learning it, more and more coaches are making sure that that's the first thing they teach from underneath. It's just not going to happen if you don't have the hands. Schmidt manages to face his man now, but it could be a, a reversal if he can make something out of this single leg position instead of an escape. He's able to turn it into a double leg switch and he got a reversal. The reversal drives him into a kind of a double leg reversal. Makes it 4 nothing. Schmitz in the second period with 45 seconds to go. Brian Schmitz, an undefeated wrestler for a, what's going to be a state championship team. Lisbon, they have locked up first place here in the 1A division. Ryan Kittleson from Decorah is leading Jeff Jens from Glenwood on the double-A mat, 1-0, with eight seconds left in the second period. Got green falling right here. Just 
two hands touching in the middle of the back. Go from there. On the 3A mat, West Des Moines Valley is hoping to win a state championship here with Kurt Benetham, who's 35-0. He's ahead 5-0 over Robert Edmonds from Des Moines Roosevelt, another hometown battle of Des Moines schools. Two minutes gone, the second period is over. Now we go to the third period, and Schmitz, the man on top, leads four to nothing. Keenan hasn't been able to get away from him yet. Schmitz with the leg in. Using the power half up on top. Gotta make something out of it there. He's got a strong half here. If he can just pry it a little bit harder. But Keenan's doing a nice job of getting himself into a stalemate there. Keenan is a different physical type. And Schmitz, he's a tall and rangy. He's had a fine year. 27-3, one draw. Keenan's road to the finals was a 9-2 decision, a fall in a minute 50, and an 8-3 decision in the semifinals. Whereas Schmitz came through with a 12-1 major decision, a fall in 3 minutes and 12 seconds, and another fall, a real fast one, in 1.29 in the semifinals. A minute 20 to go, Schmitz leads 4-0, and Keenan's been able to do nothing with him here. He hasn't been able to get away at all. Brian Schmidt's win in the semis, that fall was over Jeremy Fierks from, from Clarksville. I think that match had a lot to say. Yes, it did. That was a matchup between the two contending teams. Schmidt's just lost a point because he was penalized for stalling, makes it 4-1. to one. They were both worn, but it was a point. Now it's 4-2 to two as Keenan comes out, and we have a match here with 55 seconds to go. We've seen it several times already tonight. The match isn't over. Takedown for Schmitz makes it six to two. Forty seconds to go. Brian Schmitz of Lisbon leading Bruce Keenan of Jackson Junction. Six two. Half a minute to go. Get legs in in the power half. Stalemate again. Stalemate. With seven seconds left on the double A mat, it's one to one. Both wrestlers are on their feet. It's one to one between Ryan Kittleson and Jeff Jen, Decora and Glenwood. Two undefeated wrestlers. And they're going to overtime. And if they're in overtime, we may very well see some of that. Because this one is almost over, and Brian Schmitz is leading 6-2. to two. In control at the end, Brian Schmitz of Lisbon, a state championship for the state championship team. 6-2. to two. Now let's go to overtime. We'll go to that double-A match between Kittleson and Jens. This is our first chance to see Glenwood wrestlers. Escapes was the name of the game over there. One escape in the second period. One escape in the third period sets up the overtime. So it's one-to-one. One. Kittleson and Jens, both juniors, both undefeated. This is double A, out in the middle of the mat, waiting for his man to come to him is Ryan Kittleson Decora in the blue. He had one draw this year, that was the only blemish on his record. And out comes Jeff Jens of Glenwood in the black. He went 34 and nothing before tonight. They've settled nothing, these are at overtime three one minute periods. Makes us start examining the criteria again because they were both 1-1. Number of escapes is even. Oh, 
They may get down to the last criteria if nobody scores, so the official Mark Bean of Iowa City brings him back to the middle. And from what I understand, there's been no warnings for stalling and So it can come down to aggressiveness, you know, in a situation like that if they're tied. That's the last criteria, the official and the assistant referee, if they uh, would get together and decide themselves. And then if that's a tie, what happens? The head referee wins? <laughs> well, if you were the head referee, you'd win, wouldn't you? Mark Beans doing a, a fine job of refereeing for a number of years now. Head referee there. Of course, his father, Clyde Bean. Iowa City High. That's the end of the first period. One minute's gone. Now we get to try it on the map. Who's up, who's down? And escapes are really major. Remember, we don't talk about riding time here, so it doesn't matter when you escape unless it's going to affect the judgment of the official about how aggressive one man or the other was. So it's 1-1 here, starting the second period. Kittleson of Decorah starts on top, Jens of Glenwood starts on the bottom. Each man escaped from the other in regulation time, and that was all the scoring they did. Kittleson's putting a lot of pressure, pushing forward and looking possibly for the suck back on Jens. Kittleson in the blue from Decora on top over Jens from Glenwood. But Kittleson's doing a good job, and he's used up about half of this minute. See what happens. Who reacts off the whistle could be everything. Jens trying to control the hands, then come up. He did a good job of it, and he escaped. So now it's one nothing. It's two to one after that escape in favor of Jens. Well, you really want to see one of the boys win. You want to see it done on the mat. You don't want to have to put it in the hands of the officials for everybody's sake. You're hearing Tim Johnson there. I'm Doug Brown. We're at Iowa Public Television's coverage, live coverage in Veterans Auditorium in Des Moines of the wrestling championships of the state of Iowa. High school championships. Now, we go the other way around. Kittleson goes to the bottom, leading, trailing two to one. He let him go. So we go on the feet. And aggressiveness may, may settle it. Well, let's all root for a takedown here. And Doug, I don't care who gets it, but let's root for some. Two, two. Because otherwise, it's going to come right down. It's going to come down to the officials deciding who is more aggressive. Right. They don't want to have to do that. They're doing the best job they can, but we... Oh! And... Lick move again. This time by Jens of Glenwood, and he has Kittleson on his back. The same thing that cost the man over on the double-A mat a while ago. 19 seconds. 50. He escaped the pin, but not the five-point move. A dramatic win. He lets him up, takes him down to his back to win. And there it is, a big move in the third period of the overtime by Jeff Jens of Glenwood, and he wins the state championship. How about that? Will that, that satisfy you for a takedown, TJ? They, they settled it on the mat, and that's well. We always want it done. Gutsy performance. Jeff Chair. A very... All right, Dean, your state champion at 152 pounds was Kurt Benethum of West Des Moines Valley. Here, Benethum maintains complete control over Robert Edmonds of uh, Des Moines Roosevelt for a 9-4 decision. And now, Dean Borg and a guess. 
And a happy guest, too. He's Coach Brad Smith of Lisbon, who's just won another championship, it appears, for that Eastern Iowa town. Uh, congratulations, Brad. It looked like Corksville was nipping at your heels this year. Yeah, um, all season long. And, and during this tournament, they were right on us. And uh, it just made us wrestle that much harder. Well, and it brought the best of the people kids. alive than you did. Yeah, they had three wrestling backs uh, this afternoon. We had two. They had two in the finals. We had two. It was just it was just staying after it and just and doing the things that we've worked on all year long. Just a real quick question here as we go back to Doug. Do you like the changes here in the weights? I do. I mean, for this for our team this year, it was really it didn't hinder us at all. The only objection I have with the weights, um, maybe add a like a lower weight, a, a 95 pound weight class to give the little kid a chance to compete. Thank Coach Smith. You bet. Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Dean. We're going to 100. Coach Brad Smith of Lisbon. Sixth place, Ryan Sullivan, Woodbine. Fifth place, Brad Chambers, Trainer. Fourth place, Jeremy Frierks, Clarksville. Third place, Dan Rule, Parkersburg. Runner-up, Bruce Keenan, Turkey Valley, Jackson Junction. And the 1A 152-pound champion from Lisbon, Brian Schmitz. That's Brian, who finished an undefeated year. Undefeated year for Schmitz and the state championship Lisbon team. Managed to put it away tonight in a tough battle with Clarksville. Now 152 pounds. Presenting the class 2 152 pound awards, Coach Bob Dyer of Glenwood. Sixth place, John Robinson, New Hampton. Fifth place, Todd Clausen, St. Ansgar. Fourth place, Brad Wilson, Marion. Third place, Shannon McLaughlin, Norwalk. Runner-up, Ryan Kittleson, Decora. And the 2A 152-pound champion from Glenwood, Jeff Jens. And he made a big move to win his championship, go undefeated. Looks like he's serious about it. Yes, he does. <laughs> Looks like he wanted that for a long time. I think so. So now the double A's dismount, and up come the triple A's. At 152. In the class 3A 152-pound awards, Coach Jim Underfer, West Des Moines Valley. Sixth place, Craig Ohl, Eldridge, North Scott. Fifth place, Jake Annenson, Webster City. Fourth place, Chad Beeman, Lewis Central Council Bluffs. Third place, Rob Bleakley, Cedar Rapids Prairie. Runner-up, Robert Edmonds, Des Moines Roosevelt. And the Class 3A 152-pound champion from West Des Moines Valley, Kurt Benetham. Undefeated year for Kurt Benetham of West Des Moines Valley. And a championship. Let's go to Dean Borg. 